The 2013 football season is well underway, and there's been much talk circulating around the NCAA and NFL about some of the new rules. One of the most widely gossiped about is the new targeting or crown of the helmet rule. It states, quote, no player shall target and initiate contact against an opponent with the crown top of his helmet. When in question, it is a foul. The goal of this rule is for the safety of the players. With the concussion epidemic in the sporting world and specifically the NFL lawsuit regarding former players and the after effects of concussions, it's no surprise that the NCAA and NFL wanted to prevent head injuries from happening. However, was this rule really necessary? First of all, hard knocks are just a part of the game. Implementing this rule puts too much of the game into the referee's hands as they have to make split second decisions on whether a hit was targeting. Second of all, the penalty for helmet to helmet hit is 15 yards and an automatic ejection from the game. Again, the fate of certain players is essentially in the ref's hands. An unintended targeting hit gone wrong can cause key players to be ejected from the game, which can greatly impact the outcome. And finally, the side effects of this rule aren't helping football either. Because defensive players are worried about tackling high and risking 15 yards and an ejection from the game, many are aiming low and taking out players' knees. Your head has a helmet, your knees don't have much. I'm not saying that the athletes should try to aim for the head and give concussions, but I'm sure if you ask most players, they'd rather get their bell rung than tear an ACL or more. My final thought, let the players play including Tyler Starr in the first half of Saturday's game at the Dome. For Coyote Sports, I'm Kelly Stewart.